How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the spread syntax within JavaScript. So the spread syntax basically revolves around splitting up an iterable object and it's commonly used with arrays and also it's commonly used to pass an array into a function that accepts multiple parameters instead of an array itself. So let's see how we can use the spread syntax for a function argument. So let's make a new comment here and also make a new array. Let's say const a1 equals a new array. Let's give this one three elements, 10, 20, and 30. Okay. So now let's make a function that will accept three parameters and then return the sum of those three parameters. Let's go. Function sum. So we'll call this one sum. As I said, three parameters, a, b, and c. This function will simply just return the result of this, you know, a, b, and c. So we'll say return a plus b plus c. Okay, so here's the problem, right? So we want to pass in a1 to this function and get the result of all these numbers, but this function accepts three parameters instead of one array. So passing a1 into here will make a1 go into the parameter a, which, you know, obviously won't work. So Typically in JavaScript, you would use the apply method on this function in order to achieve this result of splitting this array into three separate arguments. So the old way without this spread syntax, you would say, let's just make a new variable or a new constant called results equal to, we're going to say sum dot apply, then pass in null as the this value and then pass in a one. So the apply method is going to you know, split this array up into three separate uh, values and then pass them in as we want to. So now if we just log out the results, save this, go in the browser and then refresh, we see 60. That's good, but using the spread syntax, it's a lot easier. So let's get rid of this right here in the result and instead call sum normally. And for the, you know, value inside here, you want to type out dot 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 and then the array a1 and that right there does the same thing as the function dot apply method so saving this and then refreshing the browser we'll see 60 once again and there we go so we can also use the spread syntax to um, insert an array while making a new array if that makes sense so let's go down here Okay, so let's make a new array called a2. Let's give it, you know, two elements for now. Uh, 10, actually, let's just say five, six. Now for the third one inside here, I'm going to put down dot 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 a1 like that. And then the next element will do something like, I don't know, dot. Okay, so the spread syntax in this scenario right here is going to basically just insert the values of a1 into there. So it's doing this. Let's copy this. Actually, let's copy this part. Okay. And put it inside there. That is what the spread syntax is doing in this scenario. So we'll do that. We can log out A2, save this, go in the browser and see how we go. All right. And we get six elements. We get five, six, and then 10, 20, 30 from the previous array, uh, array A1 and then done. Perfect. So with this knowledge, we can also use the spread syntax to copy an array. So copy an array. Let's make a new array called a2 copy equal to boom, like that. So you're just passing in a2. Um, obviously it's the same thing as this with, you know, no before and after elements, so it's the same sort of thing. If we now log out A2 copy, save it, go in the browser, refresh, we'll see we get the result. And there we are. Keep in mind that this is actually copying the values, you know, themselves, which means if I say A2 copy dot push, and then I pass in something like, I don't know, 4000, this will add an element only to the A2 copy array and leave that untouched. Let's see. Refresh and we get the A2 copy with 4,000 at the end of it, just like that. 
So again, with this knowledge, we can also use the syntax, uh, sorry, the spread syntax to concatenate an array. Let's make a new array here. After a sec, concatenate, there we are. All right. A new array, let's call this one A4, equal to, I don't know, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So let's say I want to copy, or sorry, concatenate A2 copy onto A4. Usually, you would say a4.concat and then pass in a2 copy. That does the job. But using the spread syntax, this becomes maybe, maybe clearer. It's up to you. Let's see how it works. a4 equals dot 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 a4 and then a2 copy. Oh, sorry, dot 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 a2 copy. So that works. If we log out the result of um, A4, we should see the concatenation. Let's save this, go in the browser, refresh, and we get 11 elements. Basically, we have the 25, 26, 27, 28. We get that first bit that was on there already, and then from 4 to 11, that's the concatenated part from A2 copy. Keep in mind, though, that here I'm actually calling, well, I'm, I'm using let's here because if I use const, I can't reassign the value of A4. But with the normal a4.concat method that allows you obviously to you know use const so that's that so you need to use let if you want to make a concat make a concatenation of an array with the spread syntax all right this also works with object literals so let's make a new um, object down here called let's just say i don't know dom equal to, we'll pass in two properties here, let's just say red and then equals, I don't know, uh, microphone in front of me right now and then green 20. Okay, so we can use the spread operator to do the same thing, we can we can clone this, um, this object, so we say const I don't know, DOM4, or let's just say DOM2 equals, then using a similar syntax, we can say dot 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 uh, DOM, and that will copy the values of DOM into DOM2. Let's log out DOM2, go in the browser, refresh, and we get red microphone green 20. Now, you know, just like before, uh, this object is separate from this object, which means if we say DOM2, dot red now equals cheese and we then log out dom and dom2 we should see two individual objects let's save this refresh and we get red microphone and then red cheese and that is how you can use the spread syntax within javascript thank you for watching and i'll see you later